Welcome back to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving right smack dab in the midst of it. In the hopes that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving right smack dab in the midst of it. So here we are, right? Certain places are opening up in the country, different phases, different stages and different ways. A lot of people are out doing a lot and having fun and a lot of other people are not out doing a lot, still being cautious and not risking their health, right? So everybody finds themselves in a different place right now, okay? For some dealing with chronic illness, uh, being homebound, uh, being bedridden, right? Life hadn't really changed. You were in a struggle before all this happened. You're in a struggle still, right? It hasn't really changed for you. Maybe it has changed in the sense that, you know, the availability of um, doctor's appointments and things like that, but the struggle was real before all this quarantine stuff and stay at home orders and stuff. It was real for you, and but things hadn't changed very much. For others, you're still, you know, navigating yourself through the processes of, of chronic illness and life might not have changed much for you. You might not be bedridden. You might not be homebound. You might still be up and out doing the things that you normally do, but it, you know, it hasn't really changed much. You're still doing your doctor's appointments, going to treatments and therapies. Your schedule hasn't really changed much other than your shopping might have changed a little, right? But then there are some you guys who um, aren't really out there that aren't really dealing with chronic illness that's not used to being home. And then there are some who are dealing with chronic illness and just being in the house is driving a lot of people crazy. They're not used to not getting up and going. And there's some at home who are like, this is heaven. I, I like being at home, right? But there are some who have lost jobs some who haven't lost jobs, some who's gotten pay cuts. There's a lot of scenarios out there for everyone that has gone, gone through this time, this time period of these last few months. And everybody's situation may be different. You know, some have the stress of bills, others' bills have not been affected, their income has not been affected, you know. It's just a lot of things that are out there. Let's talk a little bit about um, something that's really important as the nation tries to open up and move forward, right, in life. When you have to make decisions about whether to send your kids to school and all these different things that are out there, there's something I want to talk to you about. I've talked in different ways, a little bit of different aspects of this in a couple other videos. I'll give you the name of those videos. I would like for you to go back and watch them if you can, because it'll, it'll tie into this, but in different aspects, right? And maybe help you out a little bit more. But whenever anyone goes through anything, any interruption in life, right? Things do not return back to normal overnight. It just doesn't happen that way, okay? So there was a lot of things you might have been doing before all the stay at home orders and, and dealing with this virus and disease and stuff like that. Now that they're opening up, you're not going to be able to go back to doing the same routine, the same things that you were doing before all of this has happened. Um, if you look at a video I did called Readjusting to Chronic Illness, I did it mm -mm -mm, in February. I released it in February. Look at that, we talk a lot about when you step out, maybe on a trip or anything, and then you come back in and having that load put on you, it's a, it's a readjustment. But right now, it would be wrong and it would do you an injustice and an in-service to think that you're gonna pick up your schedule the way it was before all of this has happened. It's, it's just not gonna happen like that because things aren't quite in order, quite in place the way they once used to be. There are jobs that were out there that's not gonna come back. There, those, those jobs are just gone. There's businesses that are out there that are not gonna come back. You got JCPenney's, you got Pier 1. It's just a lot of things that um, are going on. And so to be able to 
just jump back into your old life, it's not going to happen. And I don't want you to stress out trying to make something like that happen. Things are not as usual at this time, right? And so there are some things where we need to be uh, mindful for others need to be mindful of us and we need to be mindful of others, right? Because what can happen is you can go back to having an expectation of people of what they used to do or what they used to provide or who they used to be to you and expect it to pick back up right where it left off. It's just not gonna happen right now. Priorities are different. Things have changed where people might have been, you know, more dependable in one area. They may not be dependable in that area right now. They may have to, to put you on hold. They got bills to pay. They gotta get caught up on some things. Things have changed, okay? And I just want you to be mindful of that. So I don't want you to have expectations of people of what they used to be able to do and not understand that they, it's not that their heart's not there. They just may not be able to do it right now. And I also don't want you to get frustrated with yourself when people are having expectations of you and you're just not able to do it in this season. It's just something you're just not able to do. It's kind of like when people are used to you being one way, then you start dealing with illness and then, you know, the frustration of you not being able to get up and provide and be what you used to be and the frustration of them expecting. Remember how that was and that balance of that? And that's a hard process to go through. But if you've already gone through that, you can pull back and reach on some of those lessons that you learned back then. So release others, right? And release yourself. And understand that things are not what they used to have been. When things do return to some sense of normalcy, right? It's still not going to be quite the same. And you may not even want it to be quite the same. You may not want the schedule and the hassle that you used to have. You might want to free up a little bit of stuff. Just be open to... Um, some of that. Hold on one moment. All right. Thanks for holding. Also realize that whenever you go through anything, there is um, a lot of stress that comes with life, that comes with this pandemic on top of dealing with a chronic illness, right? And so I need you to be more defensive than offensive in the sense of like defensive driving versus offensive driving, right? I don't want you to be aggressive. Just be mindful of that because there's a lot of people out there that with the stress is causing um, a lot of aggression, right? I, I remember being at the store and just asking the question and, and the gentleman there, he was hyped up. He looked like he was ready to fight for a simple question trying to get understanding. So there's some people out there that are still a little nicknoid, right? And there's a lot of post-traumatic stress. What we went through is a post-traumatic stress. People are stressed out because of bills, stressed out because of uncertainty or because they couldn't get stuff in the stores, because they lost a job, um, you know, having to find housing. There's a lot of stresses that our people have out there. And when you go through anything, even in your health, even in life experiences, when you come out of it, you can still have post-traumatic stress, which I will want you to go back and watch the video called Traumatizing that was done a couple of months ago. Um, but life can be traumatizing and some people don't even realize that what they've gone through has traumatized them, okay? So you might find people are a lot more aggressive. I know a lot of people are driving more aggressive. So you need to kind of be more on the de-escalating side and not allow your pride or your emotions to get hurt right now because sometimes that could be the matter of life and death. We're seeing people getting shot and killed because they told they can't go in the store without a mask on. It's just crazy stuff out there going on. So I need you to be real sensitive to the fact that other people um, might not be where they need to be mentally, emotionally. They might not have that stability out there, but I need you to be the one to provide stability because when you provide stability in your life and who you are, you can de-escalate a situation, but you can also help other people feel comfortable where they are at right now. But there is a thing called post-traumatic stress and people deal with it totally different. I had a, a foster uncle who 
had flew um, helicopters in Vietnam and for years, he, when he got back, he became a drunk and he carried weapons with him and he had weapons all over his house. And he would wake up all the time, like feeling like he was right back there in the war and his wife would have to get up and grab all the guns and hide them because he didn't know where he was. He didn't realize he was here and not back there. People deal with that, you guys. And it manifests in different ways and it doesn't have to be war. It could be sickness, it could be disease, it could be, you know, not being able to find toilet paper or to get hand sanitizer. Things are stressing people out right now. So we don't want to um, overlook that and think that everybody's going to go back to life as usual. You need to be aware that there may be some internal instability in the people around you. So you need to be stable, be able to recognize that and watch how you deal with people. And when you see people a little bit on edge like that, back up. No need to force nothing. I'd rather get your pride hurt and live another day to deal with it than to get your pride hurt and it costs you. Costs you some jail, costs you some, some your life, the breath within you. Just be aware right now because the whole world has gone through something and we're not out of it yet. But the whole world, parts of the world are trying to open up now and push people out, which is causing some stress on all ends and on all levels, right? For everybody on some way, in some way. And so I just want you to be mindful, okay? And take good care of yourself. Take good care of your family. Go back and watch that video on traumatizing and on... Um, readjusting to chronic illness. I hope something in this video was helpful for you. Remember, in all things, at all times, do you. Until next time, bye.